I built a Jedi starfighter out of brick separators. Well, not exactly. But anyway, guys, today in this video, I'm going to be sort of showing you what I built. So I built a Jedi starfighter out of brick separators. It took me a while to build, um, but I think it turned out pretty cool. So let me show you. So this is my Jedi Starfighter I built out of brick separators. It's not built completely out of brick separators. So there is one brick separator in there, and that is right there. Um, so I feel like I disguised it pretty well and worked it into the build pretty well. Um, so this is not like 100% my own design. Um, I did sort of copy Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Not, like, completely, but I took aspects of it. You can see, like, the two little long curve slopes and, like, the little circular piece. I sort of copied that, but I also did take the windshield piece because I didn't have another one. But, yeah, I did not 100% copy it, but I tried to get it as close as I could so I could sort of make a cool-looking one and put them side by side. Um, we're going to go in a little bit more depth here. And take a look at what I did with this Jedi Starfighter. So the building process actually went pretty smooth. Um, I've tried to do stuff like this before and it doesn't always go very well. Um, but when you're copying a set sort of and you are um, you can take aspects of its design, it goes a lot smoother. But when you're, your parts aren't like 100% sorted, it sort of takes a while to find all of your different pieces and... All that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, but overall, the building process went pretty smoothly. After this, I just sort of got in a get-it-done mood, so I didn't take much footage after this. So we're just going to start with some of, like, the play features. Um, so if you turn the set a little bit here and get in a little bit closer, um, you can see that the astromech does come out. He does take a little bit of wiggling, but um, on custom sets, you can't really be too picky about play features. I just threw this one in because I thought it was sort of cool. Um, it does take a bit of wiggling to get him in there. If this was on like a normal Lego set, I probably wouldn't be very happy. But I'm just going to be displaying this mostly. I don't even know if I'll display it. Um, but yeah, if you just sort of like wiggle him in there, uh, he will plop in. So then if you move up here to the cockpit, uh, you will see that there is a pretty nice interior. You do have um, a little control panel in there. And then the seat, pretty nice. Um, Would have liked to maybe made it brown um, for a leather seat. But when I was building this, I didn't really feel like taking it all apart again to just make it brown, to make it look like a leather seat. Um... I do have all the parts to make it brown. I was just having a hard time finding them. Um, there is a little antenna here that you can flip up and down. I don't know if Jedi Starfighters actually have antennas. Um, on Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, you can see he has a radar dish. Um, I didn't really want to add a radar dish. I don't think it adds to it. Maybe for like a play feature for kids. Um, but I don't... Didn't really feel like it added much, so I just added on a well, a little antenna that can go up and down when you're using it. Um, so then if you flip it over, you got to be pretty gentle with... Oh yeah, I'll get to that in a sec. Um, but you got to be pretty gentle with the wings since if you look at the bottom of Anakin's compared to this one... This one uses a whole bunch of like little tech or not technic clips, but little clips that have like the clicking feature. Um, I'll show you a little thing there. Yeah, so it like clicks. Um, but then on Anakin's, you can see that uh, they use like these little technic, little technic guys. Um, I only had one of those. I couldn't find uh, three more. So I ended up having to use these. I don't know if the angle is perfect. I thought it was pretty cl pretty close enough. If I was to build this again, I would definitely add 
Um, the piece is one of those plates, like one of those modified plates that have like the little um, edge on them to fill in those gaps. I would have put those on the bottom, uh, but I didn't feel like taking it apart just to add those. So, um, yeah, I didn't add those, but if I was to build this again, I would. Um, you can see those gaps are present on the Obi-Wan and Anakin's Jedi Starfighters, so, um, I didn't feel like it was a really big deal, but... Okay, so the last little thing in this section I was just gonna talk about is this. Um, so brick separators actually are very loose. Um, so if I move this out of the way here... You see this? You just put it on the brick separator. Like, it has a little X in the bottom there. Like, it should fit on one of these Technic pieces on the little thing. So it does, um, but it it just doesn't really fit on there very well. Because you... It's a brick separator, not like a brick sticker. Like, you don't want pieces of getting stuck to your brick separator. Um, so... It does, it's much looser than normal Technic axles or pegs or whatever you want to call them. And it's the same sort of idea with uh, plates. Yeah, so if you just take one of these plates here, just a little dark orange 2x4, you put it on there like that, like it pops off really easily. Like, it's just one stud, pops off super easily and then if you compare it to something like a normal plate this is just a two by six dark orange plate much harder to get off this is like normal clutch power you see like there compared to like a brick separator which is a much weaker clutch power. You can see there, super easy to get off of there. Um, so yeah, this little claw that I added on to sort of cover up that little piece there in the middle, little like poker for when you get pieces stuck in your Technic rods. Um, doesn't stay on very well, but it felt like it was sort of worth it to cover up that weird looking uh, I don't know, poker. <laughs> so, I also added two claws on the side to sort of make it look like a three thing claw. Um, I felt like it was sort of a cool feature to add, especially since there was just that little Technic piece sticking out there. And then lastly, uh, just this little landing play feature, landing gear. You just pop that, boom. Now your thing's in flight mode. So the back one doesn't actually have retractable or anything landing gear. Um, it just has, like, some bricks built down there. You can see Anakin's Jedi Starfighter and Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter have the same. Uh, where it's just a little brick piece that comes down. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some of the design features. Um, design choices, I guess you could call them. So, um... I originally knew I had to do orange or this sort of turquoise color. I don't know if turquoise is the right word. I'm not the best with colors, but uh, you can see, like, it's sort of a cool color. Um, I didn't really know what to pair with it, so I sort of just wanted to do, like, the classic orange color, like, for the orange brick separator, so you guys would be able to, like, see it and have a little bit more, like, it, it looks like a br giant brick separator. So I felt like the turquoise color would have been cool. I might make like a different version with this. You guys can always like color swap this if you want to build it yourself. Um, yeah, but I didn't know what to like what color to put with this turquoise color. So um, for this orange color, though, I picked dark red and white and gray. But gray is sort of always there. Um, yeah. Orange, dark gray, or light gray, white, and dark red. Um, I felt like that was a pretty good color palette. I didn't know what else to put with orange. Uh, I just debated actually doing this turquoise color. Um, but I decided to go with dark red. I just felt like it felt more Star Wars-y. So, 
Um, yeah, just some dark red accents in there. So I used two of these uh, wedge plates to make sort of that cool design there. I uh, thought that was pretty cool. Cool looking. Um, you can see in here, I actually took this building feature from, or like building technique from Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. If you look here, they have a, they use two brackets in there. There's two, and then they connect them with this little seat piece. So I sort of did the same thing here, but I left like one spot back there. You could put something back there, maybe like a lightsaber hilt or something. Um, but yeah, it's connected back there because these are built on like snot bricks to connect to that. Uh, fin back there. For some reason, this doesn't want to connect or like want to go down all the way. Like when I push it down, like that's how far it goes. So it doesn't want to like go down all the way for some reason. Uh, I thought that was a little bit weird, but I wasn't going to complain too much since I had just built it and then I realized at the very end and I was like, oh, I don't really want to take it apart. So I had a lot of fun building it and I would definitely like to do more shit builds like this. I'm not the best like terrain mock builder. Comment down below whose Jedi Starfighter you think this should be. Um, I have no idea. I thought maybe Plo Koon, but I think he already has like his own Jedi Starfighter in like canon Star Wars. So, um... Comment down below what you think, or what Jedi you think this should be for. So thank you guys for watching. This was a little bit different content from me. I usually don't do this kind of stuff. I do, like, vlogs and reviews and just sort of, like, stuff around my room and just sort of talk about that kind of stuff. But I felt like it would be fun to do something a little bit different with a mock. Um, there are some other mock videos coming out pretty soon. But I felt like this was a, sort of a cool one with the brick separator incorporated into it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.